My name is Jesse Schwartz, and I'm in the seventh grade at the Red Lion Area School District. My York Story Kids video is about how railroads impact York County. I chose this topic because I've always loved trains. My great-grandfather was even an engineer with the Pennsylvania Railroad, so it must be in my blood. I focused on the York Railway Company for this video story. One fact I learned is that the York Railway now owns and operates on a certain 19-mile stretch of track formerly owned by the Ma and Pa Railroad. This was originally part of the historic Pennsylvania Railroad branch line between York and Hanover. We often take for granted how railroads have shaped York County history. My story shows how railroads are still making important contributions to York County today. All aboard! York at one time, it was crazy busy. I mean, they had tracks everywhere. I mean, there, there were so many tracks. They, they had them running down the streets. Well, they still do. I've got a total of like 25 years as, as a trainman working for the railroad, delivering freight here in York County. Railroads take a lot of the trucks off the road, so it keeps down the traffic on the roads, and it also helps to cut the, in the pollution that the trucks would make. You get more for your money when you ship with rail than you would truck. It's, it's cheaper, so you can ship more product for less money because you're getting shipping it in a bigger box, like, so to speak. Railroads go way, way back. Railroads go back even before trucks were around. And, I mean, they used to unload the rail cars and put them on a horse and wagons and deliver the freight, so... Uh, They've been around a long time, and they were vital, especially way back. They, they were very vital. We have a, quite a bit of business on, on a short line railroad. For the amount of rail we have, we, we have quite a bit of business here. Some people actually think we carry passengers. I said, no, we deliver freight. We don't. We don't uh, deliver people. Uh, we deliver many commodities. We deliver cement. Um, we deliver clay. We deliver steel. Uh, we deliver coal. Um, we deliver canola oil, uh, corn to Frito-Lay. Um, we deliver uh, canned goods. Uh, there's a company called ES3. They bring like Del Monte canned goods from out west and they bring them here, which then they deliver them to the grocery stores. And uh, many products. I mean, there's some products we deliver to the paper mill f to make paper up in Gladfelder Paper in Spring Grove. And <laughs> Running a locomotive is is pretty neat. It's uh, all these years I, I still I still love to run the locomotive. When I get up in the seat in the locomotive and I run, it's, it's something that I, I love to do. My day starts out. Uh, we go to the yard office in Lincoln Yard in uh, West York. And there we have a job briefing where we discuss uh, our work for the day, what we're going to do, so everybody has a general idea of what's going on. Then I go and I start the locomotives and I inspect them for safety to make sure uh, the brakes are all working and everything's in proper working order, the bell, the horn, 
I check the oil and the water and make sure they're not low. And then I sign an inspection form to say that I inspected it and everything's in working order. And then when I'm all set to go, then the conductor tells me to bring the train back and we start down to the west end of our yard where we couple onto tracks of cars and we pick pull the tracks out and we pick out which cars we need for the day and then we put the rest back. After we have our train lined up and in the proper order, we do an air test to make sure all the brakes work on all the cars. <laughs> Proceed west and service our customers. I want to thank everyone who helped me make my video story possible. Liz Lewis for reading over my introduction essay, Story Supply for giving me a cool notebook to jot down my ideas, Martin Library for letting us use the room to hold our class, Randy Flom for showing me the way a video story is put together, and to Uptown York Rotary, the Cultural Alliance of York, and the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts for your support to York Story Kids.